Hey guys, it's your girl Fuzz and today I've got a video about everything you need to know about fishing in Stardew Valley. Let's get into it. Fishing is offered as a minigame in Stardew Valley to catch all kinds of fishes in Pelican Town. As early as the second day in Stardew Valley, as mentioned in my previous video on the 10 tips I wish I knew when starting Stardew Valley, which can be found by clicking the eye on the top right, You'll receive a letter from a Pelican Town resident named Willie. He mentions returning from a fishing trip and that you should come down to the beach sometime as he's got a gift to give you. Making your way down to the beach offers a cutscene where Willie mentions that he has enough money for a new fishing rod upgrade. He then passes over his old bamboo rod. This fishing rod is great to start with but your fishing experience can be improved by increasing your skill which will require you to fish more and having upgraded your fishing rod to better rods. To start off, how to fish. Face any body of water and have your fishing rod selected in your inventory. Hold down your action or tool button and you'll see a bar with a moving colored dial. As it moves up, it turns green and as it moves down, it turns red. As the colors would suggest, work on releasing your action button when the bar turns green. The closer to the top or the more green the dial, the further your fishing rod will go in the water. Once your fishing rod is cast, wait until you hear a sound accompanying with an exclamation mark. That is the fish biting on your fishing rod and it's time to hit that action button to reel it in. Another mini game will appear with a moving rectangle alongside a fishing rod and a fish will randomly move up and down. The goal of the game is to keep the fish within the green bar to reel it in. Whilst in the green bar, your progression on the successful catch will be on the right hand side starting from red and then moving into green the longer you can keep the fish in the green rectangle. If the fish reaches red completely, you will fail the catch and the fish will escape. Sometimes you may notice a pool of bubbles appear in the water. Earlier on, your fishing rod may not reach it, but when it does, throw your fishing rod in it. You'll know you successfully done that when the blue sparkles appear. There are two benefits of throwing your fishing rod into the pool of bubbles. One, the fish bites are four times as faster, which means faster fishing and the effectiveness of your fishing zone is increased by one, which means there's less of a chance of you catching trash and difficult to catch fish are more likely to bite. The fishing zone. This goes without saying, the further that you cast your fishing rod, the better your fishing zone will deliver. Fishing further away into the water decreases your chance of catching trash, higher quality fish will likely bite, treasure items are more likely to appear, and difficult to catch fish are likely to appear. Consider this when developing your fishing skill. Rod types. There are four types of fishing rods offered in the game. One is given to you by Willy at the start and the others can all be bought from Willy. The bamboo pole, as previously mentioned, is given to you by Willy. This can also be bought from Willy for 500 gold, but what really is the point of that? Unless you somehow lose it, sell it by accident or gift it to your sweetheart. The training rod, which is bought from Willy for 25 gold, allows the option for you to catch fish easier, but only allows you to catch common fish. There is around 5 to 6 fishes that are common and they sell for pretty cheap, around 30 to 50 gold cheap, so only buy this rod if you really need fishing practice. Fiberglass rod, which I would definitely recommend getting as early as you can, costs 1800 gold from Willy. It will require you to be a level 2 in fishing and Willy will send you a letter saying that it has become available at his store. The rod gives you access to bait being added to the rod. These can be bought from Willy for 5 gold each, found in treasure chests and can be crafted from bug meat, which is found in the mines northeast of Pelican Town when you hit fishing level 2. Bait allows the fish to bite faster, which means a quicker day of fishing. Lastly is the Iridium Rod, which is bought from Willy for 7500 gold. This unlocks both the use of bait and tackle to be added to the fishing rod. There are 7 types of tackle users, such as spinners, which reduce the maximum delay before a nibble by a certain amount of seconds, or bobbers that affect your fishing bar. That then leads us to bar size. The bar size of your mini fishing game increases in size when you have leveled your fishing skill. The higher your fishing skill, the bigger the green rectangle becomes. The upgraded fishing rods such as the fiberglass rod and the iridium rod do not affect the bar size. However, the training rod does and it is equivalent to level 5 of fishing. The training rod has an advantage of offering a bigger bar size, but the bar size won't increase on the training rod when you level past level 5. Its sole use is the game practice with cheat fish, so don't rely on the training rod if you want to improve your fishing skill. 
Levels in fishing. Every level in fishing affects your fishing experience. Here's a quick run through. Level one increases your casting distance by one tile. Level two unlocks bait to either craft or buy at willies and the fiberglass rod. Level three unlocks crab pots to craft or buy and the cooking recipe to show the sea. Level four unlocks the recycling machine crafting recipe for you to recycle your trash into usable items and your casting distance is increased by one tile. Level five offers you a profession to choose into, which is either fisher, where your fish is worth 25% more, or trapper, which is resources used for crab pots are reduced. Level six unlocks the recipes for spinner and trap bobber, but it also unlocks the iridium rod, lead bobber, spinner and trap bobber to be purchased from willies. Level seven unlocks the recipe for cork bobber and treasure hunter, which are also purchasable from willies. Level eight, worm bin, barbed hook and dress spinner are craftable and can be purchased at willies and your casting distance is increased by one tile. Level nine unlocks recipes seafoam pudding and magnet and the magnet can also be purchased at willies. And level 10 unlocks the profession for fisher or trapper, depending on what you picked at level five. If you chose fisher, you have a choice of either angler, which your fish will become 50% more worth, or pirate, the chance to find treasure is doubled. If you chose trapper at level five, you've got these two options. Mariner, which crab pots no longer produce junk items, and Laura Master, crab pots no longer require bait. Locations for fishes. There are a few places to fish in Stardew Valley. The Beach by Willie's shop is the most common place. They offer a wide range of fish. All the fish will show at certain times of the day depending on the season, and some will only show if the day is sunny or rainy, such as the eel that only shows up in spring between 4 p.m. and 1 a.m. on a raining day, or the puffer fish that only shows up in summer on sunny days between 12 p.m. and 4 p.m. The Sinisat Forest, which is south of your farm, offers a river and a pond for certain fish. There is also the Secret Woods, which is west of Sinisat Forest and is accessible when your axe has been upgraded to the Steel Axe to break a fallen log that is blocking the path. The Desert, which is unlocked when the bus is unlocked, offers sandfish, scorpion carp, and green algae. There is also the mountain lake by the mines northeast of Pelican Town. There are two areas that also have fishing spots, but I don't want to spoil these areas for people who haven't unlocked these areas yet. So I'll mention where they are. There is a block path where the bathhouse is that offers a fishing spot for two types of fish. And there's also within the sewers once unlocked, which offers two types of fish as well. The mines also offer fishing spots. And to save you some time, I'll let you know which floors and which fish you can find. The ghost fish is found on levels 20 and 60 of the mines. Stonefish can be found on level 20. Ice pip is found on level 60. And lava eel can be found on level 100. Crab pots. Crab pots can be placed in water with bait to catch certain fish. It is unlocked at level 3 of fishing to craft at 40 wood and 3 iron bars. Or can be bought at Willie's Fish Shop for 1500 gold. In the ocean, you'll have a chance to fish lobsters, clams, crabs, cockle, mussels, shrimp, and oyster. And in fresh water, it will have a chance to catch crayfish, snail, and periwinkle. Although they do have a chance to pick up trash, like driftwood and soggy newspaper. Types of fish. Now I could be talking for days about where each of these fish can be caught and whereabouts. So instead I'm going to mention the fish you will need to find for the fish tank bundle in the community center by mentioning where you can find these fishes and by what season they are caught. The river fish bundle, as it would suggest, are four fishes found by the river south of your farm. Sunfish and shad are found during summer and spring. Catfish is found when it is raining in spring and fall. And tiger trout is found during fall and winter. The lake fish bundle, a fish that are found by the mountain lake, which is by the mines northeast of Pelican Town. Largemouth bass is found all season during the day. Carp, which is super common and is caught all seasons and all during the day. Bullhead, which is found all seasons and at any time. And sturgeon, which is found during the day of summer and winter. The ocean fish bundle is found by the ocean by Wheelie Shop. Sardines are found all day in spring fall and winter. Tuna is found all day in summer and winter. Red snapper is found all day during summer and fall, only when it's raining. And tilapia, which is found all day until 2 p.m. during summer and fall. The night fish bundle. Walleye is found in rivers, lakes, and forest ponds when it's raining during fall. 
between 12 p.m. and 2 a.m. Bream is found in rivers between 6 p.m. and 2 a.m. in all seasons, and eel is found in the ocean between 4 p.m. and 2 a.m. when it's raining in spring and fall. The crab pot bundle. Those found in crab pots in the ocean include lobsters, crab, cockle, mussel, shrimp, oyster, and clams. And those that are found in freshwater are crayfish, snail, and periwinkle. And specialty fish bundle includes puffer fish in the ocean between 12 p.m. and 4 p.m. in summer in sunny weather. Those fish, which is found in level 20 and 60 of the mines. Sandfish is found in the desert all season between 6 a.m. and 8 p.m. And wood skip is found in two places. One is the secret woods, any season and any time. And if you've chosen the forest farm option for your farm, you can also find them during any season and any time. It's also worth mentioning there are five legendary fish that you can find in Stardew Valley and you can only find them once per save file. Angler can be found north of Jojima in fall. Crimson fish can be found in the ocean on the eastern pier in summer. Glacier fish can be found in Cindersat Forest in winter. Legend can be found in Mountain Lake in spring and it has to be raining. And the Mutant Cup, which can only be found in the sewers. I have yet to find one of these, but if you find one, definitely send me a screenshot in my Discord. And thank you for watching my video on fishing in Stardew Valley. I do have my socials down below, such as my Instagram and my Twitter, and I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, 11 a.m. Sydney time. Hope to catch you there, and I'll see you next video.